Okay, now I need to grab these vertices at the back here. Go R for our scale tool, and let's just scale these right down to about there. W for our select and move tool, and now I'm pushing those into that section there. Now we'll select these just at the back and R for our scale tool again W for our select a move push those in slightly and then whilst these are still selected we can go and press Z for make planar there we are and let's push that in a little bit more in fact I'm just going to grab all of these here and extend them a little bit further to the right. Yep, about there. Now, let's select all our vertices from this end up to there, but leaving these back sections unselected. Now I'm going to pop into our perspective viewport. That's P. Rotate around a little bit. Select our scale tool and just pull these to the left a little bit. So it's making it more elliptical. Sorry about that, we had a bit of a free screen again. Ah, uh, sharing resources. Okay, so let's uh, come up to our route. Select W. What I'm going to do is just pull this in to this section here. Um, how's it looking? Now I need it rotating actually a little bit. So we'll rotate it along that axis. Doesn't look too bad. It needs to come in here just a little bit more. Maybe down a touch. Not too much. That's looking so so the back. Yeah, giving it some depth there is that. Okay. Um, now we're going to apply a turbo smooth that's cleared that a little bit better we'll now collapse it to an editable poly click there we go deselect it and now we need to select the machine gun recess okay let's pop into our create panel we're looking for compound objects and there we go our old friend Pro Boolean. let's select that we're looking for a subtraction we have mgun recess selected so we can now start picking and let's click on the capsule how's it looking well that's not looking too bad actually just pull out a little bit put it there and we'll do a quick render a little bit of deformation round there but I can live with that so let's now close these down and that pop into our layers manager into fuselage and unhide. There we go. Select the fuselage and up into our modify panel. Down to polygon. We should now be able to select these polygons here. I'll just make sure that we've got select object. Just pop around, 
ignore back facing is on good I'm taking the long way around doing this you know you'd noticed so did I ok and then let's press delete Now let's come up to root, just like that, so we can pivot around a little bit. Um, let's do a quick render of that part there. It may need adjusting a little bit, yes it does, but it's not major. And now we're in our top viewport. Um, we have it selected. What we want to do is a mirror copy. X copy, say OK. Select our select a move tool. Let's just pull this across, and it actually more or less lines up with it. There. Okay. Let's now select our fuselage over to our modify panel. I'm going to pop down and select polygons. Zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Ignore back facing is checked. Let's just select these now. There. Down to there. Let's press delete now. Pop into our perspective viewport. We'll come up to root on there, select one of them, and we'll pivot round. Zoom out a little bit. And let's do a quick render see how things are again there's just a little bit round there but that's not let's say it's not major we just need to adjust those edges there a little bit I think what this also needs is an internal section a cylinder which is black okay I might do that Well, I took the liberty of creating a cylinder and giving it the colour black and it seems to have done the trick so yeah I'm fairly pleased with this so far okay so what we need to do now is select the fuselage and then close that down there uh, we'll go attach and I want to attach that Let's now deselect attach there into our left viewport. Let's just zoom out a bit, pull across, zoom in, okay, around about there. Um, up to our create panel, cylinder. Let's just create a cylinder there. It's about right. Push it back a little bit. 32 sides, 4 cap segments, 1 height, that's fine. Let's give it a customary steel grey, say OK. Now center up a little bit. Let's zoom in. Let's now convert this to an editable poly. Let's open this up. I want uh, polygons and ignore back facing. Select tool we're on the circular section there so no problem let's open this up select those there and delete them while I'm there I'll just select our square one now let's pop up to root um, yep and let's rotate this 90 degrees that looks 
fine there into perspective mode and let's rotate around just go to select for a little bit in fact we should have stuck with this circular one let's go back uh, back down to polygon select these here lovely let's rotate around a little bit pull out because what we want to do now is an extrude let's extrude this now give it quite a bit more say about there tick that for OK up to our edit swift loop I want to loop in there and one about there right click to end the action into edge R for our scale tool and let's scale that down to there W for our select and move tool just push that there a little bit let's rotate round lovely back down to polygon deselect those up for select again I want this middle section there so just out that little bit select to move to W let's now push that back into there what's happened there again okay let's undo press alt let's go for our square one and let's just deselect those thank you it's because we had it on an angle select a move tool push that right back into there lovely up to root let's pull this across pull it down how we diddling for time bring that across let's try getting this centered up now we may have to scale it down just a little bit but uh, shouldn't be too much push that in there there down a little bit that doesn't look too bad pull out the tad let's go for a mirror copy ok and let's pull that across to there back to the center yep let's now select the fuselage go attach I want that attaching and that attaching and let's pull out have a look quick render and that looks fine okay well I think we'll call that it for this session and I'll catch you later